Yeah, my beard's probably gonna look weird. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Nobody's gonna be like, beard critic 101 here in your comments. I'm unsubscribing. Your beard didn't match my expectations. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. I'd rather get a shot than do this. I'm disappointed. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Snacktastic Adventures. I'm Leroy. And I'm Brittany. Brittany's back. Yay, it's been so long. It Thanks has. for having me back, Leroy. I know, I, well, I was trying to stay away from you for like a year. Yeah, something. and those mm -hmm. nuts. You know, you did try to feed me tree nuts every time I've been on your show. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the night you almost died. <laughs> oh, I hope there's no pecans in it or I'll die. <laughs> You're allergic. Oh. <laughs> I probably should read. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. You just killed Brittany. Nope. Great. I don't own one. Uh -oh. I think I'm okay. Walnuts are in it. Almonds are in it. Your first time on the show. I know. Wow. <laughs> Oh gosh, what was the last one I think you were on? I think it was when you did the holiday snacks in your old apartment. Yes, in my old apartment. Yes. We're in a new one. Yes, and it also spawned the iconic opening for our yes. snack videos. <laughs> no! Hopefully I have some great reactions this time. I'm hopeful looking at our snacks we have and the one that's in the freezer, I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. So this episode, we went to Walmart to find the weirdest, wildest snacks we could find. And I think we did our homework. So. so let's get to it. Would you like to pick the first snack for us? Sure, I'll pick the first snack. I'm gonna do it blindly. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go with... Oh! Ah. So first we have Lay's dill pickle flavored. Now, I love dill pickle stuff. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little picky. I like my pickles Ooh. fried. Ooh, I do love fried pickles. Mm, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a deep iconic pickle smell. <laughs> Alright, you gotta get a good chip. Yes. Alright, ready? Alright, ready? Mmm. Very juicy. It kind of just tastes like a salt and vinegar chip, but less vinegary. Like instead of it being soaked in vinegar, it's just soaked in pickle juice. Yeah, I was expecting it might be just really strong yeah. pickle. It's it's nice and subtle. Mm. It's not bad. Very subtle. It's yeah. very good. Mmm, randomized. <laughs> the anticipation's killing me. <gasps> All right. Oh, I'm scared about these ones too. Well, Moa burger. Which I guess I should look at what that is. We'll figure out what a Moa burger <laughs> is. Stand by. Blend of flavors including garlic, sweet ginger, and savory beef. Mm. Well, that's fun. It just, it kind of, it's Halo, you know, the video game. Halo! Hello! <laughs> Don't worry, it's artificially flavored. Yes, guaranteed. Because <laughs> I love burgers. I already don't like that it's wavy. But it just smells like a Pringles can. Yeah, nothing but, unique there. Sure thing. That is weird. I don't like that. It Ugh. kind of has a beefy taste to it. It has a beefy taste. It tastes stale. Yeah. It's a little spicy. I like the spice. I, I do think the dill pickle one was better. Yeah, dill pickle was definitely better. But uh, this is okay. It's okay. Not quite meeting my expectations. Nope. Any jingling you hear will be our, our, our guest <laughs> producer, Thespis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sour apple marshmallows. 
I had seen there are Sour Patch Marshmallows. Unfortunately, the Walmart we went to didn't have them, but they had this, so this yeah. is definitely the next best thing. Yeah. I mean, I've never eaten a marshmallow and like, I wish this was sour. <laughs> so. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one. That is a beautiful <laughs> green apple smell. And also, they're shaped like apples. That is so cute. <laughs> you know what? I mean, this is a weird, it looks like the frog character from Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> the, the lips and everything. Mmm. I do like this. I this is definitely mm. eat the whole thing kind of thing. But it actually works really well. Mm -hmm. Texture, flavor, it's there. Oh, if you like sour stuff, especially green apple, this is for you. Like a Sour Patch Kid where it's like all of the sugar on top is what's really sour. And the marshmallow doesn't taste like marshmallow. The marshmallow is what tastes like the apple. And I think the sugar on top is what makes it the sour. This is very well made. Mango Pepsi. <laughs> I know, what? I didn't know this was the thing until she pointed it out in the store and said, that's probably gross. Cause I don't like Pepsi. Monster. I'm a Coke girl. <laughs> Which most people are. I'm one of those people that actually like Pepsi. I'll drink it so. if I have to. I mean, honestly, I don't drink much soda, but if I had to pick between Coke and Pepsi, it's Pepsi. I do want to try it, because mango is good, and so is Pepsi to me. I'm going to tell you right now, I already don't like this one. Oh, I smell the mango. Mmm. That was good. Yeah, definitely a strong mango taste. Yeah, I definitely taste more mango than uh, Pepsi, which is good. <laughs> I don't think I could drink, I don't even think I can finish what's in my cup, but... Chug, 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 chug. Oh, no, not happening. <laughs> but you go in the pile of disappointments over here with the chips. Uh, with the uh, Moa <laughs> burger chip. The Moa burger chip. A, a little bit more points for me, because the mango is so overpowering. Overall, I this is pretty pretty good. I'm not a huge soda fan, but the, I like that. I don't like that. <laughs> the Taki Blue Heat. New look, same intensity. <laughs> it says. The only exposure I have to Takis is my students eat Takis at 7 o'clock in the morning and would leave some on my desk for me. And I tried them and they're, you know, they're not the greatest thing to eat at 7 o'clock in the morning. Is that the modern day apple for a teacher? <laughs> I hope not. So I guess they're blue because it's supposed to be like the hottest part of a, a flame is the blue part. My fingers so. are already stained. I mean, this looks like blue confetti. It did, really does. It just tastes like a regular Taki. Little disappointed. I was hoping for a blue raspberry flavor. <laughs> Why did you think it would be blue raspberry? Because everything that's blue is blue raspberry. Spicier than the uh, flaming Hot Cheetos, which are my personal, flaming Hot Cheeto fries, which are my personal favorite spicy thing. I like all the blue. Yeah, it's definitely. It's like, we, it's like what is it, those, uh, when a bank robber steals money and they explode, you get blue on you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a dill pickle to uh, cleanse my palate. Fried onion ring Pringles. God, I love onion rings. I'm okay. Fr my, well, my favorite appetizer restaurant is absolutely 100% fried pickles. But onion rings are a close second. I love onions, but I'm not huge on onion rings. What about the not bloomin' onion? onion? The what? The bloomin' onion. What's a bloomin' From onion? From Outback. Have you never had a bloomin' onion? I've never eaten at Outback. What? <laughs> Hold on. You've never eaten at Outback Steakhouse? No. How old are you? You never asked. <laughs> uh, 29. 29 years. So wait, wait, wait. I'm 25. You are 25 years old, and you have never been to an Outback Steakhouse? Nope, I have not. Okay, look forward to the future, because there's going to be a vlog or something. I'm going to take Leroy to Outback, because I feel like you have to experience Outback Steakhouse. Because the Bloomin' Onion is... <sighs> it's very good. Have some shrimp on the bobby. Exactly. Back to our onion rings. Now that... Please shame him in the comments. Please shame Leroy for never eating at Outback Steakhouse. All right, ready? Yep. Mm. 
once you get past the flavoring sprinkle, it just tastes like a Pringle. But the flavoring, uh-uh, I don't like that. Me neither. It was not as exciting as I hoped it would be. It just tastes like the onion that had the skin, the fried part, fell off of it. It's just what it tastes like. Yeah, which is better, this or the Moa Burger Oh, chips. this is definitely bur better than the Moa Burger Chips. <laughs> Brittany, why are you holding this thing of Aunt Jemima's buttery rich syrup? That's a great question, Leroy. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's going to go on this monstrosity that we just pulled out of the freezer. Leroy, tell them what it is because I can't even, I don't even want to think about it. So a while back I had seen this and today I finally got it. It is probably one of the grossest things I've ever seen. Uh, they are blueberry pancake wrapped sausages on a stick. So, you know, like a corn dog, but with for a pancake. Breakfast. Yeah, for, for, for breakfast. <laughs> in the most disturbing way possible. I am gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna take a bite with and without syrup. Yep, gotta I'm have the do, full effect. I'm gonna do no syrup first. Same. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> we got it. Neither of us are thrilled about this. <laughs> Should we toast? <laughs> Ding. <Boop. laughs> Not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm gonna swallow it. I have to. <coughs> the sausage is disgusting. Yeah. I could just eat the pancake because it's blue. They're purple. Yeah. Those blueberries are actually purple. So now with a little bit of... A little bit of syrup. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to it. <sighs> the sausage just makes it terrible. Hmm. That's not as bad as I thought it was going More to be. More tolerable with syrup. Yeah. Actually pretty good. So Levi will be taking these home. <laughs> yeah, they came in a box of 12. <laughs> insane. Now you have breakfast. <laughs> Banished to the grossness. I don't know. I don't know. Well, for me. Okay. It's better than the burger chips. <laughs> well, now we are down to the final snack. Which is multiple snacks in one. A snack sack. <laughs> yeah. I am thoroughly excited about these. So we found these in the uh, international aisle. Um, and I believe these are um, Mexican jelly cups. They are called Jiggly Gels. <laughs> Jiggly Gels. Jiggly Gels. And they have assorted flavors. So we're going to try all of them today. All of them. All of the flavors. Before we continue, we must disclose the warning <laughs> that these came with. Because it's not for everyone. <laughs> not recommended for children under six or the elderly without strict adult supervision. <laughs> so, the elderly community, this snack is not for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the chunks, because you can see them. They all them. got chunks. They all them. have chunks. God, I hate chunks. Is it? No, it's kind of in there. I yeah. am a very anti-chunky person. And I'm a very anti-coconut person. Yeah, I don't like coconut either. Peel off the cover. Got it? Squeeze gently and enjoy. That's what she said. We don't know what these are. We're just gonna guess and give you our best guess at what they, what flavor they might be. But spoiler, I think all of them have a little bit of coconut. A little bit of coconut in them. Let's start over here with this. With the pee cup? With the pee cup. This just looks like a urine sample. Yes. I'm worried that there's gonna be juice. Oh, it's it. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it all over myself. I'm gonna drink the little juice off the top. Oh, yeah, very alcoholic -y. Oh my god. It does taste like alcohol. This is, I think this is pineapple. I like this. Uh, this I'm looks... excited because it looks like a mimosa. It's probably <laughs> not. Although that one did taste like alcohol. It did so. taste like alcohol. Oh, that's mango. This is mango. I don't like mango. All right. All right. Let me just pour a little bit of that in. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I don't want the coconut. <laughs> it's terrible with the coconut chunks in it. Yeah. I'm not looking. I don't like orange things, so let's do the orange next. Yay. I don't like orange either. <laughs> it smells better than the last one. It does smell better than the mango did. That, that's artificial orange. Mm-hmm. Again, that coconut, 
Makes it terrible. Blue. Uh, Do you think it'll be blue raspberry? I hope it's blue raspberry. Me too. That smells like blue raspberry. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Mmm. <laughs> That's Molto a, ben. Mm. That is the only one I've liked so far. The raspberry is the best. I wish it was a real fruit. Let's go with this pinkish one. Really oh, this is like a raspberry, yeah. I think. Yeah. Mmm. I love a good raspberry. Let's go green. Green apple. I love this color. I do love green apple. Nice green apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can almost pretend the coconut chunks are part of an apple. The last jiggly j gels. Jiggly gels. <laughs> this one is probably going to be grape, which is always mediocre. I thought pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. <laughs> pomegranate. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I am in the splash zone. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Artificial grape. Yep, this is just the Freezy Pop grape that has melted. Why don't we go ahead and say what our favorite snacks are? Ooh, uh, we tried some really good stuff today. Yeah, we did. I feel bad for Kelly. Kelly, if you're watching, I'm sorry. He gives you all the really terrible stuff. It's, this one's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna have to go with the blueberry pancake sausage on a stick. Oh, God. I really didn't think that would happen, but I actually enjoyed that. Glad somebody did. I yeah, honestly, I really didn't think I was gonna like that, and I did. Pepsi Mango was pretty good as well. Brittany, how about you? Probably have to go to the Lay's Dill Pickle. Mm. I thoroughly enjoyed these, uh, like a nice, less uh, suffocating version of salt and vinegar chips. Mm. But the green apple um, marshmallows were a close second. Pringles were definitely awful. Yeah, the Pringles were the most disappointing. All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for here. For here. For here! For oh, here! Yeah. For oh, yeah. here! Uh, so until next time, keep on snacking!